need to be started for an update. Should I do it in the group? Um, yeah, the group um okay a few anyway i've got three so let's let's get the next step started so hopefully okay four good most people looks like everybody's keep almost everybody's keeping up um so the next step might take some time so let's go ahead and start it all right so the next step you want to do the vagrant up okay so i've already had some people uh, working on their dev box um, so don't get confused. So these, these steps here, the vagrant up and the vagrant uh, halt, um, need to be run on your host machine. Okay. So the 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 once you get the dev box working, that's a virtual machine. We're going to call that the guest machine. But your command line prompt um, and, and the stuff you've installed so far is all installed on your host machine, your your host operating system. Okay. Um, and and running running your dev box, or at least starting it and stopping it, um, is done from your host machine. Okay, and installing it. So um, so if you've got your repository cloned, you want to do the vagrant up. So you, you're going to be using vagrant up here to actually bring up the machine and install it. But then normally, once the machine is installed, you use the same command to bring it back up again. So you can shut it down with a bigger halt, and you can bring it back up with a bigger up, and it won't reinstall, it'll just boot it back up, all right? So go ahead and, hit, go ahead and do the bigger up and hit return, and what you should see um, is it will start downloading stuff from the internet. So first, it will try and download a base box. Um, if you don't have one, you shouldn't get an error message. Um, I have an error message because I already have this particular dev box installed. Okay, so it's unfortunate I probably should remove that. But um, um, what you'll get, uh, well, I've got one here running, so watch while it runs. Um, if this is the first time you've done a dev box, um, it will start by adding what's known as a base box, which is a, a we use a Ubuntu. A version of Ubuntu with all the software development tools that we need for the assignments for this class. That is um, like, I don't I can't remember, 500 gigabytes maybe, or um, relatively big. Um, so that might take some time to, to download. Um, although, yeah, if you're on campus, it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes because he's already done it, so, which is good. But yeah, if you're at a home connection, it might be a little bit longer for you. And then after it, it gets the base box, um, you should start seeing messages which are basically installing um, all of the tools that you need in the system. So it will start by um, Uh, or, um, actually, the first things it does, it's actually booting up the virtual machine for the first time. So uh, here locally, we haven't gotten to where it's actually started um, running stuff in the virtual box yet. So what you'll see normally is um, that it's waiting for the machine to boot. It will take a little bit of time for the virtual machine to boot. Um, and then it'll connect, hope, hopefully it'll connect. And then after that, you'll start seeing it getting software. This is where it's actually running stuff in the virtual machine um, and downloading all of the tools that you need uh, for the assignments and stuff. Um, and again, this will also probably take some time. Um, this, will, this will take more time than downloading the base box um, once it gets to the part where it says it's getting um, software so that, that means it's just downloading packages to install um, for various things that we need i think initially there'll be about 100 packages or 125 packages that it needs to download and install excuse me I'm going to show, I'm going to, while that's going for people, I'm going to show using it a little bit. Okay. So the reason why my install failed was because I already 
had my dev box installed. So my dev box, um, I, I actually have it over in my boxes directory. Um, but um, so uh, my box isn't running. So if I want to bring my box up, because I had halted it previously when I was done, um, when I was done working with the dev box before. So if I, if I go, if I change back to, so, so again, um, if you open up a new terminal, from your home directory, you would have to change to that same directory where you cloned it. So you, for, for you, you'd need to change to the repos, and then the CSCI 430 OS sims. And that's the location where you wanna do your vagrant up and your vagrant halt commands um, to start and stop the dev box. Um, so I have a question. Okay. Uh, so um, I can see like, you know, um, on the command prompt, uh, mine is showing like vagrant at uh, dev box. Yeah, so you're um, already logged into your system. So you've somehow secured shelled into your dev box. So is that kind of like different than what uh, you are doing? Or is it like, um, am I on the same page? So uh, if you see Vagrant at DevBox, you're on the guest system instead of on the host system. So okay. you do uh, Vagrant SSH, or did you open up the Visual Studio code already or something? I did Vagrant uh, SSH. Yeah, so when you're secure shelled in, you're in the guest. Okay. So from the guest, there's certain things you have to do from the guest, um, and we'll do those next. Oh, okay. Stuff I'm showing you here, this is how you start and stop your dev box. You do that from your host system. Mm -hmm. So that should be, be done from your host system in, in the CSCI 430 OS sims. To, for example, um, I have to change my boxes directory, but um, But um, here, for example, on my host mas machine, if I want to restart my box, I just do the Vagrant up again, and that will restart my Vagrant up. You go to your repos, yeah. Repos, CSC 430. So what you'll normally see when you restart a Vagrant box, um, um, one important thing to look out for, make certain that it is um, correctly forwarding port 8080 to your port 8080. So you'll see messages about ports being forwarded. So you should see 22 for the secure shell and 8080 for, uh, here's the number. So, um, so, and 8080 for um, um, the Visual Studio code. So how do I get out of like the guest box and then like go into this? Uh, Just say exit. Um, exit. That will log you out from your guest. You'll be back to your host machine. Okay. okay. So another important thing to look for um, is um, you should see that it mounts shared folders. Okay. So um, uh, my student here, this local, uh, has already got his dev box uh, installed. It looks like it's running fine. So I'm going to have him do a bigger halt. Okay. So when you're done running your system, um, it's, it's, you should cleanly shut it down. And the way to clean it again, don't use the uh, the um, don't use the virtual box GUI to manage your dev box. Use the the command line bigger tool. Um, so if you do a bigger halt. Again, this has to be done from your repos um, repository directly. If you do a bigger fault though, it should cleanly bring your machine down. And all you'll get if it cleanly doesn't is a message about attempting to gracefully shut down and that should be it. And then once it's cleanly shut down, when you're ready to work on an assignment for the class, change back into that directory and do a bigger up. And you can go ahead and do a bigger up. And that will cleanly restart your virtual machine. And when I did like, you know, when I uh, exit it, uh, yeah. it's taking back uh, to the home directory, not this like dash at uh, KLUG. Okay, yeah, so when you exit, you know, you might have to ch make certain that you get changed back into your repos CSCI 430 OS Sims directory uh, in order to do your vagrant up. 
So, so these vagrant up commands won't work. So if you're not in the right directory, let me try to do a vagrant halt or a vagrant up. You'll just get an error message. So you have to be in the correct directory, which is that repository directory, the CSCI 430. So, um, so anyway, back to this. So you should see that um, um, you've got your ports being forward. It's important to make certain that the port 8080 shows up. Um, and also you need to, to see that your shared folders are mounted. Um, um, so if you don't see either of those, you should let me or Amy know. I forgot to introduce Amy, um, but uh, we've got a GA for the class. I'll give her you. I'll give you her information um, later here. Um, all right, if you've gotten that far, then the normal way you're going to actually be working with the Vagrant, uh, with, with the virtual Visual Studio Code. So the, the, the dev box, we install a bunch of software tools, um, uh, including Visual Studio Code um, um, IDE for doing the um, building and running your projects and things like that. Okay. So to connect to Visual Studio Code, um, if, if the port 88 is being forwarded, you should be able to connect to uh, your Visual Studio Code. So open up a um, open up a, um, um, a web browser um, and uh, basically do this. You want to go to your local host, colon 88. All right. Everybody see that? So. Um, Local host is just um, a symbolic name for your machine, your, your local machine that you did all this work on, your, your host machine, actually. Well, in colon, 8080 specifies the port number that you want to connect to. And if your Visual Studio code is running, when you hit return, you should end up being able to access your um, Visual Studio code running um, on your virtual dev box. Um, try um, try another name is one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon eighty eighty. So uh, local host should work, but they can try. Um, uh, one twenty seven is uh, the IP address of the local host. So so yeah, apparently maybe not everybody the local host will work. So you might you might want to just use the one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot one. So, and I'm sorry, I missed something. Somebody was saying something. Can you say that again? Can you speak up, say it again? Okay, yeah, if you have an error with the vagrant up, um, we're gonna have to debug it, uh, possibly. So, um, uh, maybe stick around, um, but most likely what I'll have you do is is uh, delete that vagrant box and restart it. Although I might connect with you on Zoom here so I can watch it um, install. So, but um, if you're if you're a vagrant, uh, if, if your dev box is up, you should get Visual Studio Code here. Um, so. It's, it's, um, I'm just going to mention one or two more things here and then wrap up the session and then maybe break out for individuals here. Um, so we already covered the um, um, starting and stopping, right? So, so you know, again, once you have it running, if you want to cleanly shut it down, you should go back to your host system and do a vagrant halt, right? And if you want to restart it back on your host system, use the vagrant up. Um, And um, there is one um, post installation task that we ought to try doing, although uh, Amy and I have learned that there might be some issues with this. There's a, um, 
there's a um, extension that needs to be installed in Visual Studio that, that we couldn't install for you that you have to install by hand. Um, so it's, 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 it's no problem to go ahead and try installing it right now if you're following along with me and if you have your Visual Studio code up. So from Visual Studio code, um, if you open up down here, the um, this is your extensions area. So, so this is how you access the different um, um, parts of Visual Studio code. So the Explorer, search function, the, the source control. And then the last one down there is the extensions. Um, there's an extension that we downloaded by hand, um, but um, but you have to install it from a file. So if you open up these three dots and say install from VSIX, you should find a VSIX file. Um, this is on your guest, you know, on your dev box here. But a VSIX a VSIX file called CPP Tools Linux. Um, and you can go ahead and try and install that, although I think we're having some problems uh, with that. So um, for you, you shouldn't get a message that you need to reload it. But. Uh, Professor, can you repeat that one more time? I'm not able to catch up. Yeah. So um, if you do have your Visual Studio code running, uh, you can go ahead and try and install this extension, um, although I'm not 100% certain that um, um, it's going to be working for everybody. So we might have to work out a procedure to fix this. But if you go down here, to your extensions, and then you click on the three dots here to open up additional options and install from VSIX. You'll get a file browser, um, and the file is already downloaded for you that we need to install. So you want to just select that um, and say OK. Um, and that should install the, um, the uh, this is the IntelliSense. So we're, we're writing all of our code um, is in C++ for assignments for this class. So, so we're using tools um, that use C++ included in the IntelliSense and the C++ debugger and, and uh, other stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Um, okay, um, I think there there is some more. So the um, after this video, that I um, um, so let me, let me let me just mention one or two more things, but I'm going to stop the session here, or, or maybe try and break out for some people here. Um, that might be having some problems with the dev box. Um, there is at the bottom of this repository, so everybody here looks like they've been able to find the repository. Um, there's a link to um, um, an official set of videos, so a playlist of videos on YouTube. So these are all the lecture videos and things for this class. Um, So once you've gotten past the stuff that we just talked about here in today's session, uh, you basically did the things in um, like the video one, the getting started video one. Oh, well, this is loading here. Getting slow for some reason. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we basically covered the setting up your class dev box, either Windows or Mac OS, right? So what you'll want to do, um, um, so the next step uh, for the assignment. So the, the first assignment, so again, I mentioned all this in the announcement, but you know, this is a five week class, uh, but we have to get all of the, the same stuff that we would normally do in a 16 week uh, um, um, semester done in the five weeks. So basically each week, uh, you're going to be doing one assignment, uh, one written problem set, and one test. Okay, the assignments are going to be the, the, the written problem sets are going to be due on Tuesdays. The um, programming assignments are due on Thursdays, and then the, the test for the unit for the week is due on Friday. Right. But anyway, before you work on the assignment one, you'll probably want to watch through the the, the um, setting up your class dev box. Um, and the example assignment workflow. Okay. 
So um, I'll try and go over those maybe um, at a different time as well. Um, maybe we'll have another session tomorrow, although my voice is so bad and I'm not certain how well people have been understanding. Um, but, um, but yeah, you can look at those. Or, or of course, if you're still having, um, I'm sorry, the, 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 yeah, you should be past your setting up the, the dead box. Mostly, I, I, well, some people are. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get everybody past that. But, but yeah, but you'll want to go look at the example assignment workflow then. Um, and um, what else? Um, yeah, I, I think that uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to kind of throw it open for questions. Uh, I'm going to see if I can help. I have one person saying they had an error with their dev box. I think I'm going to stay on and try and help that person. Anybody have some some questions here though they want to throw out? So you look like you're in pretty good shape, so you can watch the video and get started with stuff. So that's good. Um, all right, yeah. So we're done with the session here. So sorry. Um, Professor, um, one question: Are the tests written or um, multiple choice? Um, the the format of the test is about half multiple choice, true, false questions, and about half written questions. So can we take it anytime or there's so, like um, the test will be open starting on Friday. You take it anytime on the Friday at the end of the week. That does have a two hour time limit. Um, I've set it aside. So approximately I, I give about 30 true false multiple choice questions. I expect that to be done in about 30 minutes, about one minute each. And then I usually have two or three written questions, which I expect to take longer and, and like about half an hour for each one. So to take up the rest of the hour to hour and a half. So that, that's the general format for the tests. But, um, but the were, points, if you look be, at all of this, um, all of those three things are worth equal amounts of points. So the program assignments is worth one third of the course. The written assignments are worth one third of the course and the tests are worth one th third of the course. So none of them are more important than the others in terms of your final evaluation. For the so um, it will be open from Friday till uh, Sunday, is that right? Yeah, so Friday, like just after midnight till midnight at the end of Friday, so 24 hours. Okay. End of Friday? Yes. Okay. All right, so um, somebody was asking about um, a problem logging off from the guest system and logging into the admin, okay. Um, shut down so so once again to cleanly shut down all you need to do is you can just always just close off this the, the visual studio the, the tab for the server but then to cleanly shut down go to your host system make certain that you're in your csci 430 os sims directory and do a vagrant halt that's how you cleanly shut down your system so the problem is i'm having like you know problem logging into host system itself. So you, like it's, you, so you shouldn't have to log into the system. You can use the terminal from the, uh, the VS code. Okay? So, so when you say you're logging into the system, what do you mean? Uh, like this one, uh, dash add k log. Like I'm not getting this at all. Um, why don't you share your screen with me if you don't mind. We still have other people logged in here, but. Um, uh. Actually, I'm logging from like another piece, like another laptop. So I'm gonna log in again. Oh, so you're saying you can't share your screen? Yeah, because I'm I'm doing like you know installation in another uh, laptop. Okay, uh, we might set up a separate session. Uh, maybe give me five minutes. Let's, let's give it five minutes. So describe again what you're seeing. Um, so I'm having problem logging into the host system. Like I'm, I can, um, I can log into like the guest system after doing Bagrin SSH, but like this one, it's not showing up for me. The host system. Your when host system. Your host Bagrin. system is just your laptop or your desktop. So you're already on your laptop, right? And you've already got a terminal on your laptop, right? Mm -hmm. That's your host system. So to do stuff from your host system, all you have to do is change into your repos directory and then change into the CSCI 430 directory. That is your host system and that is the location you need to be to run commands on your host system like vagrant up and vagrant halt. Does that make sense? 
Um, yeah, it does. Uh, can I have a question? What's the guest system then? I'm not quite clear. The guest system. So the, when you run a virtual machine, it runs as what's known as a guest operating system. So the host operating system hosts the guest operating system. So the dev box is going to be the guest operating system. So I will, I will refer to that as the guest or the dev box. And then your laptop or your system that's running virtual box is your host system. So I'll call that your, your laptop or that, or that will be your host system. That makes sense. So the virtual box is the guest system, right? Right. Okay, and the command prompt and the laptop, whatever, it's it's a host system. Is it? You can, yes, you can run, I mean, some commands you have to run from your host system. So okay. some commands you're running from your terminal on your host system, bigger and up and bigger down, bigger and up and bigger halt, has to be run from your host system to start and stop your dev box. And then there's other commands that you'll be running from your guest system later on to build your assignments and do other stuff. So, um, so the per person who's chatting with me, um, you are at you are at your repo. That is your current directory. It looks like. So yeah, when you exit the, the guest system, you're back to your host system. So you're in your terminal on Windows, you're in your command line terminal on Windows, you're in your, and you are in the correct directory. So from that location, you should be able to do a vagrant halt to cleanly stop your dev box. And you should be able to do a vagrant up if the dev box is not running to start your dev box back up. So can I share my screen? Hello. That, does that make sense? Um, yeah, so can I share my screen for once? Uh, sure, sure, I think I've got enabled, go ahead. You cannot share screen with other. Uh, it says I cannot share the screen. Um, try again. Well, maybe I have to stop my share in a second. That's probably why. Okay, try it now. Try. <laughs> Can you see it? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, what do I do from here? Okay, you've got your bigger up. Um, I don't see the messages that I'm normally expecting here. So do a bigger halt for me. So if it cleanly shuts down, it'll just give you a message that attempting to cleanly shut down, that'll be about it. But, but that'll mean that it's probably cleanly shut down if it does that. Attempting graceful shutdown. That's what you normally expect when you're cleanly shutting down. Now try the bigger up again. Let, let's see if we get the messages I'm usually expecting here. Um, well, I suspect it was actually running already when you did the bigger up a second time, which try and be careful. I, I don't think that hurts anything, but, but you should try to know whether your bo box is up or not. And, um, not started a second time. So, so this is what you should normally see. Um, so I correctly, I see that you correctly have your port 8080 being forward, which is good. Um, and we should also see that it's, um, hopefully that it's sharing your folders here. It's not quite, uh, not, you, you'll get your command, you'll get your, um, your prompt back once it's completely done booting up. Here, so it's not okay. Still, 
Still connecting. So I am doing it right, right? Yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. Okay. Uh, so yeah, now I'm trying to mount the shared folders. Um, okay, everything looks normal at this point. So it looks good. So what you want to do now is open up a browser, a web browser. Can you see my browser? Uh, no, you're just sharing your uh, one window. So you have to either share that window or share your desktop. Right, and then you have to do the, the go to 127.0.0.1. So, yeah, there you go. And there's your Visual Studio Code, okay? And from here, this is how you're going to normally be accessing your terminal from your guest, is if you look it down at the bottom there, that's the terminal for the guest. So if you need to run commands on the terminal on the guest, you want to do them from there. Okay. Okay, so do I normally run command from here? Well, if the, the, mostly the only thing you're going to be doing from there is vagrant up and vagrant halls. So that's all you need uh, to do. Okay, okay. For this okay, class, that box. Okay, and for the rest, like we need to do it from here? Yes. Okay, got it. Okay. It's, uh, it's like you're running. I traffic. was doing it right. Okay, all right. Thank you. All right, you set? Yeah, that's it. All right, great. Uh, so I have a lot of people still hanging around. Does anybody else have questions? Check. So I think I'm done. I'm logging off. Okay. Yeah, we're all done unless, unless people uh, have some questions here. There's, there's actually more than when I started here. So did um, anybody um, still working on installing stuff? Have a question about installing things? Um, all right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the session here. Uh, I need to go and take, uh, take a break here. So uh, if you have questions, uh, just email. Um, I'll get the information up, some, some additional information about Amy. She can also answer questions. Uh, but yeah, get started on the assignments and stuff. Um, and uh, feel free to email me. Um, and um, and uh, yeah, good luck. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the semester.